To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. On the night of September 9th, 1965, a Category 3 hurricane named Betsy slammed into southeast Louisiana. With sustained winds of 110 miles an hour, gusting to 145, tracking just west of New Orleans. Storm surge sent walls of water from Lakes Bourne, Pontchartrain, and the Industrial Canal over and through broken levees into St. Bernard, the Lower Ninth Ward, New Orleans East, and other areas. Daylight revealed destruction, devastation, extensive flooding in many parts of the city, much of it waist deep, some of the flooding even up to roofs. Some people who sought safety in attics were reportedly trapped by rising water and drowned. Betsy claimed 75 lives in Louisiana. Rescuers took survivors to safety in boats on streets that looked like rivers. Winds had toppled trees, knocked out power, flipped small planes, and there were fires. Within hours on September 10th, President Lyndon Johnson flew to New Orleans to meet with local leaders and survey damage. The nation grieves for its neighbors in Louisiana, Johnson said, but this state will build its way out of sorrow. It was the nation's most expensive storm up to that time, $1.2 billion in damage, giving it the nickname Billion Dollar Betsy. That led to construction of a massive regional flood protection system. But it was piecemeal with flawed designs and construction, which Hurricane Katrina overwhelmed 40 years later. By the city's tricentennial year, the Army Corps of Engineers had spent $14.5 billion to build flood protection that's redesigned, greatly enhanced, and strengthened. What officials describe as the best risk reduction system New Orleans has ever had. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.